Well, good day, shoppers. Welcome back to your two-week Princess Auto sale flyer. We got this from June 21st to July 3rd already. July 3rd, man. <sighs> Summer will be over soon. We'll be pushing snow before we know it, right? Oh, well. Anyways, looks like we got a fairly thick flyer. I've actually got the paper copy in front of me here, too. They send me that in the mail, but I like doing the e-version for you guys. Wow, 71 pages now. <laughs> it's almost a whole book. Anyways, let's see what we got for sale this week. Uh, the last flyer there, I actually did go down and get some of those um, lights for my trailer. And I thought they were LEDs. When I get there, they're just the regular bulbs again. I'm like, oh, I, I got them anyways because they're like $2.88. They're pretty cheap. So I got enough to replace all of them, except I don't think I'm going to replace all of them. I got one that's burnt out. I'm just going to maybe replace it on my travel trailer. But uh I want to light them up and see, but uh, anyways, uh, what do we got here? We got step drill bits. Oh boy, those are pretty good. I do have one of them. Still haven't tried it yet, but anyway, oh well, that's kind of neat. Little roof rack canopy thing. Hmm. Give it a bit of sun off you, I guess. Pressure washers. Pressure washer. What's that? A 2.4 gallon a minute, 3,400 psi. That's not bad. Does that say Kohler? Let's zoom that in there. Oh, they're not going to show me, are they? Looks like K-O-H-L-E-R, Kohler engine, maybe on there. They're, I guess, pretty good. I don't uh, have any of them except the one that came on my, uh, yeah, Kohler, <laughs> right there. Except the one that came on my sawmill has a has a Kohler on it. It seems pretty good. Uh, what do we got here? Diamond sharpening with base. Oh, okay, that's cool. Three sides. Weather station. TV stuff. So, no, I thought it's going to be a bunch of ads here, but oh, there's a really, really good deal. Holy smokes, even five bucks for that is good. Now it's only got one, two, three, four, five plugs, but it comes with the tools and the tuba stuff. $2.99. That's actually really good. And I do need. Um, I do need some more cords, but I won't probably go down there just for that. Not the price of fuel now. Oof. There's the air conditioner again. It's the hottest time of the year, apparently. So This is surplus stuff, right? Yeah, surplus. So some lights. Looks like there's a bunch of... Oh, that's kind of cool. What's with this, though? Cigarette lighter, 12 volt, but then this is 18 volt, wouldn't it? With two of those, something like that. Anyways, oh, there's some more lights for you. It's interesting looking one there, dimmable. Oh, okay. Pod lights. Hmm. Interesting. Probably put batteries in them, I guess. Oh, there's a new tractor for us. Look at that one. Nice little trailer and everything. That's cool. Ultra GGUB launch and catch game. Okay. Even selling baseball sweatshirt assorted sizes. Interesting. Hmm. Couldn't sell a Blue Jay one. Probably not allowed to. Baseball hoop kit. There you go. Some nice knives. Knives, knives there. Just a bunch of surplusy stuff. They seem to be getting into a lot more of the surplus stuff now. That's good though, I guess. Can crusher. Bunch of wire. Well, that's interesting. These were on sale last week too, and they're on sale this week as well. Or this two week sale, they're on for sale. So now you watch, they'll have LED. Well, they got those. I don't. Yeah, incandescent bulbs are not LEDs, so. I did get a set of these, though, for my travel trailer, even though they're a submersible, like, or a boat trailer. But I uh, kind of like the, well, my other one, it's like the big old style, bigger one, and it's got, somehow got a split in the lens here. I don't know how, but anyway, so I got uh, two new ones. I got to wire them on as well at some point for the travel trailer. Some more trailer stuff. 400 piece terminal kit for uh, 25 bucks. 
That's not too bad. Cable ties. You never have enough cable ties. Oh, that's kind of neat. A tube of shrink tubes. <laughs> That'll be tire spoon kit for, I don't know, maybe like a bicycle tire or something smallish. Okay, so a nine piece. This was two ninety nine for the eight piece. This comes with everything else except like this little knife thing to cut these off. Wow. Well, there you go. That's that's pretty good. But this is the reamer tool here. It's got like spirals, or sometimes it's like knurled. I guess they'd call that. And you get your whatever you put your hole in there. So you pull the nail out, and then you use this thing, and you jam, 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 clean it all out, and then you uh, thread one of these little tire. Um, cords into it there rubber cords and then you jam it in and then pull that out real fast and it leaves that cord in there that's how you do the repair on them but anyways oh nice kinds of tires on sale Man, weight distribution hitches and regular hitches look at this thing holy smokes Trailer frame things, springs and brakes. That's something I got to do soon too. Is have a look at my uh, eight by sixteen flat trailer there and have a check the brakes on it. They're probably not in the best of shape from where it's been parking. I haven't had it. Well, I haven't had it certified for like five or six years, so I probably should have a look at it. I guess. Electric jacks, they're sure nice. Ooh, two piece. I wonder if these things are any good. Uh, I like the screw down ones better. I don't seem to have them here, but I don't know if those would be any good or not. It'd actually be better to have something like this, probably, except they'd still sway a bit. Like the little jacks you put down on the travel trailers, the scissor jacks, where they, you know, they have the, the screw that goes through and then it, it, you know, scissors down to like a V shape. They're all right, but they still, still trailer moves around a whole lot still. I don't know if it's anything any more solid or not, but these things would still wobble in here too, right? So you're not going to get away from that unless you put it on blocks, I guess. But uh, cargo carriers, there you go, nice aluminum one, aluminum. Aluminum, aluminium. Trailer receiver, 600 pound clamp on, two inch. Oh, I see. Okay, I don't, don't really know if I'd want to trust that, but okay then. <laughs> oh, it's still on sale. Boy, I could have used this on the weekend there. I helped Dylan change a tire on one of his dirt bikes there. We did it pretty good, but oh, it was. Would have been nice to have it mounted on something, but it had a pretty small bearing. The inside dimension of the bearing was pretty small, and I think you'd probably have to take those bearings out to uh, be able to use something like this because it's pretty small. It wouldn't fit on here, likely. This is more meant for, like, garden tractor tires and stuff like that, you know, so trailer tires, whatever. Right? Okay, we fought it, and we won, so anyways... Ooh, twenty dollars for a marine drinking water hose. I should actually probably get a couple more of those twenty dollars. So it'll be sixty bucks plus tax for three of them. I've got some for my travel trailer. Everything's travel trailer today. I got some of them for my travel trailer. They're getting kind of crappy and they're not full of holes or nothing yet. But I don't know. Could use an extra length of them too. Anti-vibration pads. 30,000 pound recovery strap. Wow, that's a big feller. It's a pretty good deal for those. I've seen them cheaper though. Straps. Oh, that's uh, adjustable flat bar headache rack. Smack your head on it, give your headache. I think that's supposed to go like behind your uh, cab or your truck behind the window on the front of your bed. Engine crane. Oh, no, sorry, that's a truck uh, hitch mount crane. Wow. That's kind of cool. It's got little stabilizers and everything to go down. That's good. So it doesn't bend this thing here, I guess, so, so much. <laughs> I was actually thinking about that, you know, every time I look at these, I'm like, I wonder if anybody's ever come up with one for, a, like, a hitch mount. Well, there you go. 300 bucks. That's pretty good. Could lift up to 1,000 pounds there, or, you know, 500 further out you go, the less it'll lift, right? 
Now, if this was longer too, it went out here. You could lift more out here too, but you know, that's a whole different hydraulic cylinder then. Foldable steel ramp. Oh, sweet. Oh, they're just advertising the. That looks like it's kind of bending in the middle of it, even with that little thing on there. Hmm. Some more ramps. These things aren't too bad, but my Maniac squashed them. Yeah, I kind of start driving up and just kind of went. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Well, I guess they're only a thousand pounds too, but anyways. Now that's kind of cool. Vehicle hard shell rooftop wedge style tent. Are you going to sleep up there? No. Seven foot long, so I just barely fit. I don't know if you'd want to sleep up there. I mean, I guess you'd be safer from things, but. Um. What kind of floor would be in that? I wonder. It doesn't really tell you too much more. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. Flopper down away you go. Eighteen hundred bucks though. I don't know about that. I sleep in the car for free, <laughs> right? Oh boy. Off-road vehicle outdoor shower. Wow, they're getting all kinds of cool stuff here. Short shower, I guess. And a stove. Yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. Vehicle hard shell rooftop pop-up tent. There's another one. Suitable for most vehicles, size seven, seven foot long, four foot wide, three foot high. So that's only 36 inches high. So you wouldn't want to get up too fast. Well, that's kind of cool. Probably for one person, I guess. Cleaning and polishing and shining supplies. Rich leather. And cleaning supplies? No, car polish. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Still car polishing. Microfibers. OxyClean. Oh, got lots of cleaning stuff now. There you go. Bearing separator right next to the OxyClean. <laughs> okay. Bag of someone's old t-shirts and sweatshirts, it looks like. It's all right. Ball joint service kit. Nice. Oh boy, look at all the automotive tools. Deglaze engine cylinders from two to seven inch. Seven inch, what the heck are you working on? My goodness. There's a piston ring compressor and a valve, or sorry, piston ring installer. Very nice. Some more pullers and that looks like the the bearing driver I got there is pretty much the same I think. Does it come with the red case too? It doesn't show you. Well. Wheel stud installer. Well now that's what I needed. Oh well. For my ATV. Oh, they still got the lift. Still want one of them, but nah. I guess not. Bottle jacks. Hello, bottle. That's a nice bike, but they're advertising the lift. <laughs> There's kind of like what's on the travel trailer there. One of them scissor jack things, right? So you crank them down. And that's just supposed to hold it. It's not supposed to actually jack it up. Not supposed to put a lot of pressure on them. Some no-co stuff. Booster packs. Battery tester. Uh, AL329 OBD2 code reader. A bunch of funnels. Very nice. Grease guns. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, air operated grease pump. Hey. Now we're talking. You just have to buy the big tub of grease, I guess. But that would last me forever. Well, gas and oil extractor. There's some hand cleaner. Same color as that other stuff, isn't it? Wow. Antifreeze coolant, octane booster. Some clamps. Oh, there's like a table saw table or a miter saw table. That's like the one the guy sent me from uh, Evolution Saw. That's pretty good. Laminate floor cutter. Your socket holder set there. Bunch of smaller hand tools and hammers and stuff. Dead blow hammers, yeah. Dead blow. 
At least it's not death blow. I think that'd be worse. <laughs> Canada Day. Oh, yes, that's coming up soon. Yes, it is. Click type torque wrench. All our hand tools, some air hoses, air compressors, air tools. Hey, that's kind of neat. Water feed air cutoff tool. Really? Hmm. Air sanders. Turbo tip. Oh, boy. That's cheap. I don't know what this Genesis brand is, but that's cheap. <laughs> Dry metal, dry cut metal saw. Really? Oh, that's neat. I'd be getting that bound up and bling, flying off in your face probably. <laughs> that's a good little thing to have. Put them on your drill. You can run sockets. Pretty handy. There's a little miter saw. Nice. What on earth is that? Angle grinder or stand? Huh. Or it's a four and a half to five inch angle grinder to a metal cutting chop saw. Well, there you go. Two and one, I guess. Ooh, 15 piece deep impact socket sets. Chrome vanadium steel construction. Three eighths to co inch and a quarter. Metrics as well. Hmm. Well, that's all right. Some sanding discs, painting guns. Ooh, that's a pretty big set of drill bits. Saw blades, spade blades, spade bit, sorry. Air nailers. I wonder if these things are any good. I know, like I said before, their uh, impact guns suck. I think I've taken like three of them back. I'm like, just give me my money back. No thanks. <laughs> just garbage. These, I don't know. Maybe they're better. Who knows? They seem to have a lot of different ones, so they must be not too bad. 1,500 pound word top workbench with power outlets and USB outlets. Wow, that's all right. Nice little storage bin, some totes. Very nice, four wheel dollies. Ooh, anti fatigue. Foamy tiles, two wheel carts, the trolley. Blue full brim hard hat. Nice. I wonder if they have different colors or it's just all blue. Maybe it's just all blue. So you know what? I've been having a hard time finding safety glasses this year. I got a couple of pair and that was it. I bought them out. He says, I don't know when we'll be getting any more in. I'm like, wow, really? Safety glasses. We can't get those now? Oh, boy. Now, this is a good idea. I just want the pants part for when I'm out weed whacking. Because my, uh, let me think now, my, uh, my left leg just gets covered in grass and I'm about as green as that hose when I'm done kind of thing and it makes it kind of a mess on your pants so I don't really want to wear the whole thing but I guess you could tie this part with the sleeves around your waist too you know seven bucks that's not bad saves getting all out of your pants there's a good hose there it looks like good thick beefy ends on the end Wow, four gallon, 120 volt compact water heater. Wow, isn't that cool? 229 wattage, 1440. That's going to take up your whole circuit, that's for sure. That's kind of cool. Four gallon. That's not too bad, you know, for a small, small little place where you have a sink that you want to wash your hands or something. There you go. Hot water. Not enough to probably for a bath, you know, bathtub or shower or something. But. Wheelie barrels. Some big landscape rakes. Landscaping equipment. Oh, these fans are... These fans blow, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, they got lots of fans. Holy cow. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow, look at that price. Oh, it's electric, that's why. $2,199 for an electric trike. Distance per charge, 40 to 60 kilometers. Full time to charge, 7 hours. Maximum speed, 32 kilometers an hour. We could probably change that. And uh, capacity, 265 pounds. So I could ride on that. Oh, man. Powder-coated aluminum alloy. I really like some more info on that. Let's see if they tell you what kind of batteries in it. They probably won't. It's probably a... Well, it's probably lithium. Let's think the battery right there, I believe. Shifter saddle number of pedals. Number of pedals, five. Woo. 
derailleur hub, motor, electric trike, battery capacity, capacity battery voltage, 48 volts. Doesn't say battery type lithium. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Some of these bikes are still not necessarily this one, but some of the like um, e-bikes or um, my son was looking for one there. Uh, what the heck's the name of it? I can't remember anyways. It's still a lead acid battery. I'm like, who the heck would want that? The thing weighs like 400 pounds. <laughs> a little crazy. So anyways, that's cool. He wouldn't want one of those. So he'd, look, he'd think, no, oh, I look like some old lady driving that. I don't want that. A wood-burning fire pit. That's all right. Ooh, 177 caliber, 495 foot a second. That's So that's our maximum you can get. Uh, you can buy one of these without having a firearms license in uh, Canada here. So any more than that, you have to have a license. Very interesting. But a little 177, man, that wouldn't have much more impact going much faster anyways. You know, it might splat a bit more, but it's not going to really do much more damage. And that's pretty fast, 495. Uh, it's not probably probably not enough that you'll maybe penetrate someone's skin with that much more you probably would you know those things are made of lead too right so lead poison stainless steel propane and fred steak cooker huh steak cooker really well isn't that interesting <laughs> never seen one of those before huh 75 liter portable freezer with dual temperature really that's cool it's like a cooler size freezer ha huh. perfect for vehicles rvs campers and more interesting that is cool all the camp and stuff telescoping stool oh that's neat 200 that looks like a drill bit charger <laughs> Or a uh, sharpener, sorry, drill bit sharpener. I charge my drill bits quite often, actually. Uh, air conditioner with AC DC adapter cools up to 50 square feet, so very, very small. Cooling capacity is uh, 2350 BTU per hour. Interesting. Wow, this is quite a flyer this time. Got a lot of stuff on sale. Man, oh man. Amazing. I've got the stuff actually to sell. That's pretty good, too, for that. Love these little kits. I think I've shown you these before. Stainless steel cotter pin kit. Metric nut bolt and washer kit. That's pretty cool. Snap rings. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Some nice rope, ropey stuff. I wonder what the breaking is on this stuff. It's 110 pound. That's it? Doesn't seem very much. Smaller stuff, I guess. Some nice little pins there. You never know when you're going to need pins. Different three different sizes. Ten bucks, though. So. Oh, for 22 piece, I see. Probably got, yeah, it comes in a little case. So that's pretty handy. There's a lot of times you need some of them. If you have a tractor. Electric fence stuff to keep your wife in. Or, I mean, keep the cattle in. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> that's a horrible joke. Uh, keep the husband in. That's better. There we go. These things are good to have, too, the carbon monoxide detector, especially if you're in a little work shed there and you're running something in there and you don't realize that you're uh, snuffocating yourself out. This thing will start beeping and the numbers will start going up. It gets to a certain point and then beep, 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 beep. It starts beeping at you, so there's another one there, too. Ooh, a sprayer. Nice. Two-gallon. Ooh, ATV mount sprayer. Nice. I wonder if that comes with a, a wand, like a... Be just a uh, spray nozzle, not an actual, like, you know, what do they call those things? It goes on the back kind of thing. Fuel stuff, of course. We got lots of fuel stuff all the time. Little pumps and stuff. Ooh, a little shed. Metal firewood storage shed. Interesting. 95 by 36, so three feet by 63 tall. 60 inch category one greater blade high carbon steel blade rotates 360 degrees on a king pin maximum 50 horsepower that's all right 60 inch some fuel canisters and transferring stuff 
Battery chargers, lithium ion multi equipment power head. Oh, there you go. So you could add all these things, I guess. Trimmers and ooh, chainsaw. Very nice. Some little tools there and some splitters. 30 ton splitter. That's a good size one. Pressure washing again. Nice big tarps. There you go. 8 by 10 tarps. 5 bucks. That's pretty cheap. Pressure washer carts too. Ooh, cement mixers. Boy, that's pretty cheap for that too. I wonder if it's any good. Usually these, well, it's probably because of the ethanol. These hoses and stuff, they're all garbage. They just go dry and break off and stuff. Gas powered jackhammer, that's neat. Little generator, 4,500 watt. Ooh, log jack with hardwood handle. There we go. Um, hydraulic cylinder stuff and coolers, it looks like. Yeah. Power packs, power units, spool valves. Ooh, look at this little sucker here. Eh? Ooh, I bet you it's got some pressure. 50 tons. Maximum continuous pressure of 3,600 PSI. Wow, that's amazing. Some welding machines. Ooh. What is that one? That's probably oxyacetylene. Yeah, no, I need a welder one or a low pressure one for my uh, welder that toppled over and kind of bent up the, the gauge a little bit there a couple weeks ago. Made kind of a mess. Cutting oil. Drill press vice. English wheel. Nice. Soda blasting or sand blasting. Rubber wheels for portability includes a foot hose and blah, 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 and millimeter nozzles. Nice. Huh. Metal detector even. AC on the go. Well, that's kind of cool. Steel cooking cabin. Huh. 129 bucks. Uh, that's neat. 60-inch little landscape rake. I wonder if these things would bend, though, if they're more springy, like spring steel. And I guess that is it. We are out of... Duff, yeah, that was the last uh, page here on the uh, on the book. But anyways, let's go to the top here again. That is your two-week Princess Auto Sale Flyer, June 21st to the July 3rd of 2022. Didn't really see anything I'm going to probably worry about going down for. I think there was a couple of things there, but I don't probably need them. So anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. You guys have a good one, and happy shopping.